What's going on guys, it is Ash here, and today I'm going to be going over all of the loot that I have gotten from the Wrath of the Machine Raid. So, just wanted to start the video off by apologizing for the lack of actual videos lately. The streams have been pretty fun, and I've honestly just been really lazy when trying to make YouTube videos, and I've just wanted to play the game. And, to, you know, to kind of come back, I'm going to be doing a double upload today. This video showing you guys all of the loot that I've gotten from the raid. And then also, later I'm going to be uploading a 15 Dead Orbit package opening. Bringing up my light and getting some pretty cool stuff. So, let's get right into the video. So, I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday I actually finally beat Axis, the final boss of the raid. I actually ended up getting the Chaos Dogma at 371, which is a really good drop because this thing is really good. It has Triple Tap, Extended Mag, Speed Reload, Small Bore, Linear Compensator, Accuras Ballistics, Field Choke, and then the actual perk Triple Double. When Triple Tap perk is triggered, an extra bullet is transferred from your reserve to your magazine. So pretty much what this means is you're going to be getting a lot of ammo back if you're hitting headshots. Now, I'm going to be doing reviews on every single one of these guns, but today we're just going to be looking at them in short. So I'm going to go shoot a couple vandals for you guys so you can see what it is without it being upgraded. So w one of the cool things about the gun is when you get it, like, normally, it's just normal. Like, as you guys can see, this is just, like, one of the gunsmith, um, rolls. Or not gunsmith rolls, but um, like base models. But once you upgrade it, you'll have SIVA um, like strings going all over the gun, and the sight will actually change, and it'll be like SIVA, like a cool SIVA sight. Um, I'll I'll be going more into that when I do a review on the gun, but that's just something cool, and it goes for all raid guns too. So the next thing I got from the raid is the Genesis chain. Now this is the raid auto rifle that comes with linear compensator, accurized ballistics, field choke, focused fire, speed reload, high caliber rounds, hammer forged, and focus firefly. So focus firefly, pretty much what it does is when you get headshots with focus fire active, it's firefly. So pretty much it's just normal firefly, but it goes with the focus fire perk, and it actually does some really cool damage. I've seen some videos on the gun. I'll be going over it myself, but it's a really cool gun. Pr like, I'm really glad I got this thing. It's, it's really cool, but the only problem with it is that it has uh, some pretty bad recoil, but it's pretty easy to control once you get used to it. So, the next gun I wanted to go over is the Quantaplasm. So, this is the Raid Shotgun. Looks pretty cool, and what it has is Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, Battle Runner, Hand Loaded, Speed Reload, Small Bore, and Running Interference. Grants increased armor while the Battle Runner perk is active. So basically this thing makes you a speed demon. You can run around blasting people up in PvP. And this thing honestly isn't even that bad in Crucible. Which is pretty surprising because, I mean, it doesn't have the best range ever. I mean, I'm not going to say that this thing's godly. Like, you're going to be getting shut down by most Matadors and stuff. But it is a very good shotgun. Now the next gun I wanted to go over is the Either Nova. So pretty much what this thing has is linear compensator, accurized ballistics, field choke, army of one, small bore, speed reload, braced frame, and two for one. Doubles the effectiveness of the army of one perk. And what the army of one perk does is quick unassisted, unassisted kills with this weapon reduce grenade and melee cooldown so pretty much you're gonna be getting your grenades and melees really fast when you get unassisted kills with this gun which is really cool i've actually tried this out in pvp and uh, it it's it wrecks it's a really good combo guys but the next gun i wanted to go over is the sound and fury rocket launcher now i've actually had like four of these it's the only heavy in the raid currently the LMG, or the machine gun, is going to be coming out in hard mode, I believe. But what it has... Oh, um, one thing I forgot to go over, too, is all of the raid guns have whirl, Whirlwind's Curse. 
And pretty much it just uh, gives you bonus agility when you have the weapon on and you deal bonus damage to fall. So let's go over what the thing has. Linear Compensator, Hard Launch, Warhead, what? Verniers, <laughs> Spray and Play, Javelin, Speed Reload, Quick Draw, and Wait For It. Reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. Now a lot of people were like, ooh, Clown Cartridge, it's back baby, but no guys, it's not, it's not Clown Cartridge. It takes a, it takes a round from your reserve and puts it in. So you're not getting any magic ammo, it's just letting you shoot a little bit more for your mags. And that's all I have for that? weapons currently. So, I honestly have had really bad luck on my warlock anyway. Because I've gotten three chest plates, each of which have been infused. But, I've gotten three of these and no, nothing else. But what it has is a new SIVA directive, and pretty much what it does is it lets you re-roll your raid gear. And it's actually really, really cool. Mine has Intellect Discipline, Pulse, Shotgun, Mortal Medicine, and Void Armor. And then the uh, perk that comes on all chest plates is that you take half damage when carrying the SIVA charge, which is going to be really useful for the raid. Like, once you get... The full raid set, you're gonna have some really, like, that's crazy. Take half damage when holding it. I've seen a lot of people die when holding it, and if they had that chest plate upgraded, that might not have happened to them. Like, there's some really cool bonuses. Like, I know the gloves for sure. Um, like, they give you bonus heavy when you kill Fallen. That's really good. But, um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you what I got on my Hunter and Titan now. I just got the gloves on both of them. Again, I've had some pretty bad luck with the raid, other than weapons. I, I'm pretty sure I have all of the weapons that are out for the raid as of now. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as it helps out the channel a ton. There's going to be another upload today, going over some Dead Orbit packages. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.